I'll make it all come true. What is going on you guys? It's the professional tip giver here back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you six tips that professional players don't want you to know about because that's how they have elevated their game above yours. Now, most of you guys know that I was a professional player under Cloud9 for over a year, playing a lot of different mobile battle royales like Fortnite Mobile, Cyber Hunter, and Rules of Survival. I won a few championships here and there, and I know a lot about shooters and, more importantly, first-person shooters. So today, since I'm not a professional player anymore and I just love making content, I'm deciding to give you guys six more tips in order to make your game substantially better. Now, I actually made a video like this four months ago back in January called seven things professionals do that you don't in COD mobile. And it got over 1 million views. Everyone really wanted me to make another one. So here we are with six more tips. Uh, before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. In fact, we're less than 115,000 subscribers away from 1 million, which is obviously my childhood dream goal. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications and Let's get into tip number one. So tip number one is something that a lot of people don't think about. And I actually learned it in the early days of playing Call of Duty on console when I played Black Ops 2. It's something called Peeker's Advantage. So if you peek around a corner and somebody doesn't know that you're coming around that corner, you have made an action to try and kill them by knowing that they are there. The person will then need to react to you coming around the corner and the average reaction speed of a human is actually 250 milliseconds. So they're going to have a 250 50 millisecond delay before they'll even realize to react to you. So you running around the corner, if you know somebody's in front of you, you will have an instant advantage over taking your first shots compared to the person that is out in the open, not realizing that you're around the corner, ready to jump out and pounce on them. In order to make it more effective, what you want to do is add some sort of movement in with it, like sliding, jumping, even jumping around, then going into a prone state. That will increase the effectiveness of using the peeker's advantage to your advantage. Also, you have ping inside of the game. You guys know that you usually have a little ping MS counter on your screen. If it's green, it's usually good. Anything under around 70 ping is super, super good. Anything over 100 is super, super bad. However, if your ping is good and the opposing player's ping is bad, it will give you an even larger advantage because you won't appear on their screen until slightly later, which means you'll have even more time to pick up that kill before they even shoot shoot at you. But since the human reaction time is around 250 milliseconds, this is actually taken advantage not only in Call of Duty, but also in real life by professionally trained gunsmen and also special ops task forces in the army. They understand that if you've got a gun pointed at your head and you have a specific way to get out of that situation fast, you acting on it instantly will get you out of that situation because the person holding the gun to your head won't be able to react fast enough when you duck out of the way of the gun and then grab it off of them. Same applies in Call of Duty. The element of surprise, ladies and gentlemen, with Peeker's Advantage is insanely overpowered. All right, so getting into tip number two. This is a pretty self-explanatory tip. If you're not doing this already, this is something you definitely need to invest in if you want to take your Call of Duty mobile skills to the next level. You want to be using headphones. You guys see that I have headphones on right now. Of course, these headphones are a little bit overkill for a mobile app. They are Sennheiser 660Ss. Previously, I used to have Logitech headphones and I also had some HyperX headphones as well. I'm gonna snap this thing in half. But usually, as long as you just have headphones where there's two different sides that you can hear where footsteps are coming from, that will help you out greatly. It's also really good for finding out where gunshots are coming from. Even if a gun is silenced, you'll be able to decide where they're shooting from by having your headphones on. I've been using headphones for many years, and I really couldn't see myself tryharding without being able to hear exactly where the gunshots are coming from, exactly where footsteps are coming from, and also where like grenades land or where the 
the RCXD is on the map, etc, etc. Using headphones will supply you with so much more information. At the end of the day, a lot of this game comes down to acquiring that information in order to getting the kill. So next up, if you are a ranked player, you are going to be wanting to use one score streak in particular over everything else. And that is going to be using the UAV. Of course, the UAV is a great score streak, but there is a counter to it being the ghost perk. However, with the addition of RC car inside of Call of Duty Mobile, not very many people are using the ghost perk anymore. In fact, they're using cold blooded, which means that you can use UAV and see all of the opposing team on the mini map which is fantastic in order to gain map control understand where the enemies are spawning and overall just dominating the entire game uav is a great score streak and if you truly understand how this game works with spawns you'll become very effective at getting score streaks or even nukes while running uav and some lower tier score streaks in order to cycle them through i personally like using uav rc car and then counter uav so that i can keep myself up off the map by having counter up in the air i can see them on the map by having the uav and then if they have ghost my rc car will find them and shock them because like i said before you can only have one either ghost or cold-blooded and since most of the people are using cold-blooded uav is the move and since there are still people using ghost you've got the rc car in your back pocket for when you ever need to use it So this next tip is interesting because it's not something that the average player would think about. However, a lot of professional players do. Counting deaths. This was something I seen introduced around the Call of Duty Ghost era of the console version of this franchise. And essentially what it is, is there's a certain amount of players in the opposite team. Say you're playing in domination and you're trying to capture the B flag, but you see that every time you're hopping on the B flag, there's always two to three people waiting for you to kill you this is where slayer role comes in a lot of people think that the only way to win a game is by playing the objective and hopping on the flag as much as you possibly can that's not the case counting deaths means that you strategically get kills and you count every single kill that you get in order to know how many of the enemy team are off the flag and at their spawn because in game modes like domination there is set spawns beside the flags that you have captured for example in raid, you will either spawn at the top of the map beside the basketball court or at the bottom of the map beside the garage or even inside of the garage. If you manage to kill three to four enemies around the ringside or mid map, that means there's only two enemies left around the middle of the map and the other three or four enemies have spawned down at the garage. So if there's only two left and the yellow Lambo in front of the B flag is already exploded, that means that you can put down trophy systems protect yourself all five people can hop on the flag and there's only two more people going to be shooting at you and what are the chances that those two more people are going to be able to kill your entire team not likely however if you are a solo ranked player and you feel like you are dominant in slaying you'll probably not be able to get all five of your teammates on the flag so the best thing that you can do is try and get an area of the map for example on raid holding the ringside for a prolonged period period of time to kill as many as the other opponents as possible because your teammates are probably not going to be counting deaths and they'll probably just hop on the flag whenever they can. So you counting deaths in your mind and understanding how many people are alive, you can choose to hop on the flag with your teammate when you know that you have killed three or more enemies. But remember, if you killed an enemy 10 seconds ago and you're counting it as the same death pool as an enemy you've just killed in the last second, that is wrong because the person you killed 10 seconds ago will be already a quarter of the way up the map in order to try and kill you. Hunting deaths is only applicable if you're getting lots of kills really fast. And if you're solo ranking, you should be counting your teammates kills as well as their deaths in order to understand how much map control you actually have. I believe this is a super important tip to elevating your game, especially if you're trying to get score streaks and also nuclear bombs inside of Call of Duty Mobile. I use this a lot and I've never talked about it before so i hope it really helps you guys out and i hope you find value from that information of counting deaths 
Next up is jump sliding. I said that I would talk about this in a future video back in the video that I made in January. So I'm talking about it right here. In order to jump slide efficiently, you need to get to the end of your slide while you still have momentum just before it stops and then jump. However, they recently changed how jump sliding works. It actually jumps you in the way that you're looking instead of the way that you're sliding. So it's a little bit different, but you can actually still time it right so that you go in the way that you're sliding, but it is very, very hard to do. So it's honestly just easier perfecting jumping and then sliding in the direction that you're going in instead of jumping, turning around and sliding straight forward in the certain direction that you're looking at. Jump sliding is the most effective way to get out of situations that will cause you harm inside of this game. And I definitely recommend everyone trying to master the jump slide. If you guys only use two fingers, it would be great if you could go on to the four finger claw HUD if you're on a mobile phone or on a tablet because that will greatly increase your effectiveness of jump sliding. So lastly, but not least, we are going to be talking about the prone glitch that Hawk's Nest has made a video on recently. Now, what this prone glitch is, is if you click the prone button and then stand up, there is a delay between the animation that you see and the animation that your opposing enemy sees. So you're standing up and you're shooting at them, but they cannot see you. It's absolutely crazy. I was debating not even talking about this because I would see this more as an exploit or a bug, and I would assume that it would get patched sometime soon, but I'm talking about it at the end of this video because there is very few people that usually make it to the end of videos. And if you're one of those lucky people that did, you get to have a little bit of an abusive time using this exploit or bug. It is very interesting. All you need to do is put on the prone button, use it prone behind cover, and then hop straight back up and you will not be able to be seen by the opposing players in the opposite team. I would assume that this will get patched probably within the next month or so so feel free to use it until then but either way that is the end of the video make sure to like subscribe to help me to get to 1 million subscribers turn on those notifications if you want to be notified of when i upload a video i love you all live your life with purpose and without further ado let's roll the outro bye